Nate with Sauce Tank the Boss here again, and today is day number 114 of quitting alcohol. You know, I've gotten some comments over the course of doing these videos regarding not beating yourself up so bad when you fall off the bandwagon, so to speak, and go back to drinking, and how maybe there could be more uh, positivity in the sober culture when it comes to messing up and um, going back to alcohol and bouncing back and forth and that kind of thing. And uh, so I just had some thoughts on that today and I was just going to kind of address what I feel about that type of thing and where I'm at on it and uh, just my thoughts on it. And this isn't right or wrong or, um, you know, I don't even know if I have my mind made up on some of this stuff one way or the other, but uh, this is just my take on it as I feel about it today at this very moment. And um, that's that, you know, I think there's two types of drinkers out there. I think that there's people that, um, you know, if they do fall off the bandwagon and go back to drinking, you know, for some people it's a life and death you know, struggle and situation where, um, you know, I think some people could possibly be the types that have one drink, they're going to be on the drink maybe again forever and not be able to get back off and get trapped back in that trap just like that, you know. Um, maybe it's something to do with the way the brain is wired for certain people. I've heard some people say, you know, uh, drinking and becoming an alcoholic can make you have some sort of um, rewiring of the brain that just makes you susceptible to, um, uh, you know, not being able to stop once you start again, you know, so um, that's a possibility, you know. Um, I think there's other drinkers that, uh, you know, are the people that uh, maybe they drink on the weekends or they have uh, a few drinks once in a while in the evening after work. They're not an everyday drinker. Maybe they're a moderate drinker, I would say. And um, those people sometimes feel like their drinking might be getting to a level where um, it's just not healthy. Maybe they're waking up hungover more than they'd like or they notice they're putting on the extra pounds. Uh, they might not uh, have a, quote, alcohol problem at that point yet or, or what society would consider to be an alcohol problem. And maybe they're the type of people that uh, want to get away from alcohol just to kind of, for health reasons, just for their appearance, their weight, and just noticing that it's, um, you know, hindering them some ways in life. Um, so there's those drinkers as well. And then there's the people rarely, rarely ever drink, you know, um, so I think how you approach and view beating yourself up and how to count days and all these different things about uh, sobriety and that kind of thing uh, depends on, um, you know, your drinking level, where you're at in life, why you're getting away from drinking. Are you just taking a break? Do you need to get away from it forever? Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of different stories out there that everybody has, you know, and um, for me, so I've gone 100, today's 114. I mean, if all of a sudden I went back to drinking this evening, should I beat myself up about that? I know personally I would be super, extremely bummed out if today I decided to go back to drinking after going 114 days. Would I beat myself up about it? Absolutely. Um, and that's my own personal choice. I'm at a place where um, there's no way in hell I want to go back to drinking. And so I know the damage it was creating in my life and that I was one of those drinkers that, you know, I think if I went back to drinking, I'd be all in it again, hardcore and, and uh, struggle to try to get back out if I even could, you know. I'm just one of those types of people um, that I know uh, I've proven to myself that's kind of where I'm at with my drinking, you know. And so um, it's kind of a dangerous place to be if I decided all of a sudden, well, I'll have a drink tonight. You know, it's that... Um, type of mindset. Oh, I can, I can have just one that makes so many people that um, go so far fall back into the trap and then that maybe they're stuck in it for years and can't get back out, you know. Um, so as I said, there's just different types of drinkers out there, you know. Can somebody that's an occasional drinker that's get, getting away from it for uh, a month or two and then maybe they have a drink, uh, should they beat themselves up? I don't know. I think you gotta you gotta evaluate you and what your goals are and where you're at in your drinking. So it's kind of an individual uh, thing, and and I think to just say you know sobriety 
as a whole culture should be forgiving of, um, you know, uh, not having people beat themselves up if they go back to drinking. I don't really think that that's a, uh, a whole thing that exists to be able to say one way or another the culture. I think it's just each individual has to evaluate it for themselves. And I know for me, I would beat myself up. Should I? I think I should. I don't care if anyone else thinks I should or shouldn't. That's just me. And uh, I'm kind of from the, you know, I'm a Gen Xer, um, kind of from the school of hard knocks, kind of, you know, uh, I kind of take more of a hard line, not so forgiving with things like that. You, you, you effed up, you own it. You know, that's just the way I am. And, um, you know, people say, oh, don't beat yourself up for this, that, like, okay. I mean, some people can feel that way about it, but for me, I'm going to beat myself up and say, you know, you, you screwed up, you, you jackass, you know, and that's, that's just the way that I am. And I probably will never change that, you know. Um, I heard somebody talking about a, a certain way of counting days with sobriety as well. And this may work for some people. I'll tell you why it's not for me and, and why it may work for some of you, depending on your drinking. Basically what it is, is um, let's say uh, somebody goes 100 days with uh, out drinking, they're trying to quit drinking, and then all of a sudden maybe uh, somebody passes away, they're having a hard day, and they, they binge and, and drink a bunch of alcohol one evening. So to me, I would start my clock over again counting if that happened to me, and I would say, okay, uh, I'm starting back on day zero, I gotta go day one, move forward, and count my days that way. Uh, some people would call that, okay, I went 100 days, I drank on day 101, so now I, I'm 100 days sober with an asterisk next to it. So now 100 asterisk means that I, I'm 100 days sober with one mess up, and you're supposed to not count the day you drink, obviously, as 101, and then kind of take a penalty day after that. Um, so as you recover, and then so um, basically on day... 103 would be your day 101, but you would have an asterisk moving forward from then on. And all this stuff is, it seems kind of silly to me, counting days and numbers and asterisks and all this stuff. So to me, I mean, I just go, I don't know how I feel about all this weird stuff, but that's just me. This works for some people. And I think the reason it is, and this is why I could see it working for some people, is if you've gone 100 days and you mess up and you go, I got to reset my clock, your mindset might be the type of person that goes, well, screw it. I messed up. I might as well just go back to drinking for a while then anyway, because... I've already got to start over. What's another, you know, couple weeks worth of drinking? Well, then you get further and further into that trap of alcohol again, and it's hard to get back out of because, you know, you've got, whereas if you just know you have to add one asterisk by your count and you kind of get to stay at your 100, you're more motivated for some people to, uh, well, okay, I messed up. I had one bad day, but I get an asterisk and I just keep counting my days, you know. So that's the whole, I think, thought process behind the asterisks. You know, if somebody honestly went five years of not drinking, had uh, uh, some alcohol on one day, and then didn't touch it again for, uh, you know, another 10 years or the rest of their life, are they, you know, starting all over? I mean, I probably would start my clock over. Um, again, is counting days super important? No, I don't think so. But uh, the fact of the matter is, is, all this stuff, I think, is just an individual uh, thing where you're going to have to evaluate how you want to count your days, how, how much you want to beat yourself up, and um, what type of drinker you are. And uh, I think for a lot of people out there, the reason maybe the sober culture is kind of, hey, start your clock over, you had a drink, that's it, is because there are a lot of drinkers out there that are, um, you know, know how dangerous it really is if you just say one drink and I'm going back to drinking for, you know, one day how, um, you know, you might not be able to get back out and be sober again. You might get wrapped back up in that trap and uh, never, never escape from it. There's, and I think that it's maybe difficult for people that um, aren't that type of drinker to understand how dangerous it can be for some people. And so uh, maybe this video will shed some light on that. I think there really are people out there. I probably would put myself in that category too, that if I um, decided to drink again, I might not come back out of it, you know? And um, that sounds maybe crazy to those that aren't in that boat, 
But um, so do, do, am I hard on myself? Would I beat myself? Absolutely. And I have good reason to. This person over here that's an occasional drinker just trying to lose some weight and, uh, you know, uh, they have the occasional one and then they go another month without drinking. And then uh, two months down the road, they have another drink. And then they're not really the kind of person I think that is, um, you know, struggling with alcohol like others are, um, like I did and maybe some other people out there. So um Maybe that'll shed some light on maybe why there's just uh, different feelings on, um, you know, how to count your days or do you start the clock over? Do you add an asterisk? I mean, the, the problem with that whole asterisk thing, too, is, I mean, it kind of, I think for a lot of people, it would give them the excuse to, oh, well, if I go and I have a drink or I binge one day, I'll just add an asterisk and uh, I'm still 100 days sober. I'll keep moving forward and, and uh no big deal, but then now they, they decide to do it again. Now they got two asterisks. And then what, uh, you're, you're 10 years sober with uh, 500 asterisks? I mean, uh, to me, that just doesn't seem like a um, viable way or a good way to count your days and have asterisks. And uh, it could get kind of nutty, if you know what I'm saying, if you went down that road. But I, I think the point is, if you're going to go with that type of mentality and counting and stuff, it's going to have to be more of, hey, man, if you get up to like 10 asterisks or something, you better just, you know, cash in your chips and start back at day zero. I mean, how many are you going to have? And what's the point? I think it just it, it leaves the door, I think, kind of open for especially the drinkers uh, of my mentality to be able to say you're sober, even though you know, you're messing up a bunch and adding asterisks. And um, so, uh, but again, you know, that may work for some people. And I think ultimately the most important thing for anybody is, um, you know, the longer you go without alcohol um, in life, the more days you go without it, the better off you are. It doesn't matter what type of drinker you are, what kind of person. Um, it's just alcohol is bad for you in every way, shape and form. So, um yeah, you do need to celebrate your wins um, every day you go without alcohol. That, that's a win in my book, you know. Um, should I celebrate if I drink tonight my 100? Yeah, I'm celebrating my 114 days, you know. I'm going to, you know, uh, even though I drank tonight, I don't know. To me, that's just, I, I wouldn't celebrate that. I'd be kicking myself in the ass, you know. So, uh, Anyway, guys, uh, there's no, I, I don't know, wrong or right way with this. I mean, if you've got, you know, comments about that, leave them down below. Uh, again, for me, I think that um, I'm going to move forward with uh, beat myself up. If You know, and not to, to say when you say beat yourself up, you know, I'm, I'm going to be regretful if I go back to drinking. I'm going to feel like I messed up. And uh, if anyone tells me I shouldn't, I disagree with them. I mean, I, that's just the way that it is for me. Somebody else over here might feel differently about it, and that's their own prerogative, you know. Um, and everybody's got their right to their own opinion on this thing. So, um, you know, leave your comments down below if you have any ideas or thoughts on it that you want to share. But uh, for me, I'm just going to keep moving forward the way I've been doing it. And, and um, yeah, so... Anyway, guys, that's it for today. If you're getting anything out of these videos, give them a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.